Hello, hello, hello. Welcome over here to Lunkers TV. Hey, I got a big announcement for you guys. We just dropped pre-orders for the new book. That is right, myself and Nicholas Irving. We worked together on another book. This one is wild. We did not let anything, we didn't hold anything back. We let loose. You guys get to hear stuff from my past, like way back from when I was a childhood, what got me to where I am today. Some sniper school stuff in there. We actually had to get some stuff was actually redacted by the schoolhouse itself because of some of the stuff we could not say in the book. But if you guys were going to want to know what a taste of what schoolhouse is like as well, that is in there. It's a really, really good book. We're also going to fly one of you guys down to come here and shoot with myself and Nicholas Irving. Pre-orders are going on right now, so go ahead and click the link at the top of the description. It will start shipping out the 24th of August. I will select the winner probably a week or so after and then fly you down in October and you come down here and shoot my rifles and his rifles if you would like to you get to have a whole range day with us which will be awesome but you're gonna have to send a screenshot of your pre-order to earned book at mail.com I will actually put that right below the link just go ahead and just why when you get it just screenshot it and send it over there so I have your email address so then we can talk to you and get you a flight down here to come and shoot you know what okay we'll make it for you and a buddy yeah I'll buy you and a buddy a flight down here you guys will stay here for free and then you guys can come and uh, send some rounds down range with us. It'll be fun. You know what I mean? This will probably be the only chance to do it. Some of you guys would like to do it. We'll send you out to a thousand. We'll give you, we'll get you out there. But the book's fantastic. I hope you guys are excited for this one because it's going to be good. We didn't hold back at all. Click the link top of the bio. Thank you for everybody who's already pre-ordered. Let's see if we can get that, uh, that New York Times bestseller list. That'll be my high school diploma. we will be like, yo, it took me 12 years to get this high school diploma. You see this thing? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? That's it. You're going to enjoy this one. It's, a good, it's, it's way better than the last one. But hey, let's, let's, let's do this. This, this. this video is actually from, Toby told me to do this. Toby Thomas is a gentleman, he's a Batman. He looks like, look how stout he is. Yeah, he's hiding behind the wall over here. <laughs> hiding behind the wall. <laughs> so you guys said do cheap rifles versus expensive rifles. So I got the same caliber. This is a six and a half. Now, cheap is relative, okay? I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. Money is relative to the person you were talking to. A dollar to me was worth more than a dollar to him. You know what I mean? Like the amount of money an individual has. So money is always relative to the person you were talking to. $100 may not be worth that much to somebody. $100 to me is worth a load more than it is to Bill Gates. You know what I mean? So this is a cheap, um, inexpensive, uh, every day. Anybody can afford this rifle. I think this is about $350. Was it $350 pre-scope? Yeah, it's like 350, 360. Okay. The scope, I think, was like 200. Okay, so you're probably about 500 bucks all in on this thing, which on a on a rifle, on a hunting rifle, it's probably pretty normal. It's got four and a half to 14. Um, so this is legitimately just a it's a it's a deer rifle. That's all this is. And we've never had one walk away from us after being shot with that. So yeah. Like the cool thing about doing this, what Rob's doing is he's going to show you like the difference in the guns. Um, Cause there is a difference in some of these guns when you pay five, six, $7,000 versus 400 ish. Um, but you can still kill the animal with that. $100. Oh, of course you can. You know, I mean, I can just tell just by the feel of the stock. Um, at least this is smooth. Oh, by the way, I probably should tell you guys what it is. It's a Ruger. It's a Ruger American. It's a six and a half Creedmoor. Uh, this was not painted Cryptek. You had this painted. I had it dipped. In fact, yeah. if you ever have your guns dipped, ask how much it is before you do it because <laughs> the dipping costs more than a rifle did. <laughs> so there you go. Lessons from Batman himself. Um, but we're going to take this thing out and see if we can get, I wanted to pull it out real quick just to see, but it doesn't even tell me what click, how many clicks is a minute. So, and it's dialed right now to what? I have no, oh, so this thing's, don't touch this right now. You can do whatever you want. I don't know, man. Put oh, it on the so range you, and make sure I get it. You just gave me We have no idea what it's dialed yes, to. Yes, you're gonna learn. Oh, it should be zero to 100. Gay put it at zero to 100 was probably was shooting at 100 yards. But just prefacing, you might have to learn it. We're gonna be learning today, I guess. So there's no dialing, and I have no idea. Well, you're zero. Loophole. That's what I'm asking. Is is that the zero yeah, or the, is the uh, is that zero or is zero zero? Zero is zero. Zero is gonna be 100. Yes. Okay. Zero is going to be 100. So now I just got to look up and find out anything on this. Lopold VX-3i. I just now realized something. It's this. This is this is how I know this is such a beginner. Inter, like how, what's 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 the when, when entry level? Mm -hmm. This is the most entry basic level ever. I just now realized on the side of this right here, it says focus. This thing's actually called parallax, not focus. But they call it focus because people like what do you do? You grab the focus knob. It actually makes more sense in parallax <laughs> true I mean, it really does you think about it. it makes more sense in yo parallax okay so i did not zero this rifle this was zero by somebody else so i'm going to trust that it is zeroed and if it's not we're gonna have to adjust probably i would assume either i'm gonna say windage probably had to be adjusted but i'm out here with lojo if you guys don't know who lojo is this gentleman right here he's going to be assisting me lojo is a very good guy he's also a veteran he's been to afghanistan 
twice. Mm -hmm. He went to Pactica province and... Pa Can Kandahar, pa but mainly Pactica. Pactica, yeah. okay. So he was in the same hole I was. Yeah. He was a hole. If you guys want to follow him, you need to. If you guys like veterans, he's a he's an awesome, he's an awesome guy. He's gonna be helping me today. Do a little bit of the testing. I'm gonna see, I'm, I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to get this, this, we're gonna call it cheap rifle out to, um, how far? I know there's probably comments in the sec down below. It's like, oh my God, that's the most expensive rifle in the world. But like I said, money's relative. This rifle right here is about five grand. This one is five to 600. So we're looking at a 10X like difference here. Uh, mainly because the big thing about rifles, I'm gonna tell you guys right now is scopes. Scopes mm -hmm. is like one of the most expensive thing. This scope on this one, I'm gonna say ballpark is probably $2,500, but it's made for this, like this rifle and this scope are paired together. That, that's what it is for. I look, I look at rifles and stuff like this, like a tool. You don't go out and buy any tools, you're gonna have to keep rebuying them over and over and over again. You know what I mean? True. You, you might, am I right or am yeah. I right? Yeah, oh, so, absolutely. It's so the same yeah. thing. Um, Anyway, if you guys want to follow Lojo, you need to. He'll be linked in the description. He's a great guy. You're going to see how good of a shot he is. I have no like, He said he's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I so, said I was going to beat Rob, so I've set the bar pretty high here. The only thing I'm hoping is that the other six and a half is actually dialed somewhat. Well, we're going to test it today. It's going to be the same ammo, same caliber, 10x multiplier on rifles. And one's going to have suppressed and one's not, but that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I think the cheap rifle with us shooting, I think we'll it see. can still perform uh, like really should. well. It should. I, the thing is, I don't know how far I'll be able to get it. I don't know. I really I know. don't. I really don't. I'm yeah. going to grab some ears. All right. Uh, I hope that this thing is on. This is good because I know like a lot of people can't afford this. So if I can prove that it can happen, one thing I don't like about it already, you cannot... You're kind of limited with this, but I think they have attachment now you can put on the bottom. So we're going to start at 300. If we can't hit 300, then we're going to have issues anyway. I can't see what this says. Okay. We're good, huh? I need some more fluff. More fluff? Yeah, I can't. This isn't high enough. Hold on, let me see if this is good. This might be fun. Might be okay? Maybe, we'll see. You guys good? Yep. Yeah. Got it. Hit it first, first round an impact at 300. So maybe I know what the I'm doing. <laughs> See, Toby would never steer you wrong. Well, I have no, I have nothing. So I, I, would, I just did the, I will say right now, this thing isn't reloading rounds. At 300, I did the math based off of, so this is a quarter minute adjusted. Um, God, this thing is just not really that great. So I did the math, this is a quarter minute adjusted in scope at 100 yards i did 2700 for the muzzle velocity and i think the bullet diameter itself is 0.26 i think it's 0.264 so i think is what it was i believe all right so that was 300 so if you guys ever bought one of these and you've never hit 300 look i just proved you could first round hit not my rifle so 400 is going to be seven uh seven and a quarter essentially it's 7.17 all right so that's what that should be and remember, I'm doing this, I don't have a chronograph. I don't have anything, so I, I did an estimated on what I think the six and a half is gonna be shooting trajectory one feet per second out of this barrel. And of course, it's gonna be losing velocity as it goes farther down range, but we'll see. So here we go, another cheaper rifle at 400. Big problem here, I can already tell is what's probably gonna happen when I get farther ranges is the scope's capacity for the magnification. I mean, we're talking a 14 magnification at 700, 800. Is not that pleasant and these are headshot targets still these aren't even these aren't even body shot targets so here's 400 i got a quarter value in it for my ass going right to left i'm sitting up on a bag you boys ready yep yep to the left just barely left you were right on the money though to the left how much is barely i mean like you barely missed that but your up and down was perfect now you're to the right well, this held and left or held right. This gun sucks. Come on now. That's why I don't buy cheap. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Cam, cancel out those last two rounds. All right, here we go. The first shot was fine. I'm going to have to figure out something else to go farther. Left. Like you're missing to the left is what I'm saying. I'm about to throw this rifle. This thing sucks. This, this thing, no, it. this rifle doesn't reload rounds. Look at that deer coming out. Oh yeah, he's right in front of the target too. <laughs> right below it. Same spot, buddy. Same exact spot, just to the left. 
I think you actually nicked the top of it. I need to stick a bigger target out there. This this one's only this big. Yeah. I would have already been done by now. If you missed to the left, you want me to say like right no, one or whatever the. You're fine. Okay. It's uh these rifles. You're all over the bit. You're all over the. Bit. I know. I'm hitting in the same spot, so I know it's not me. It could be this bag a little bit. Yeah, it could be. Got it that time. Okay. Where did we hit that one? Where did you hit it? Yeah. Looks like top left. Top which, left. Which would make sense because that's kind of where you've been. Yeah, if I was, because I mean, I've been hitting, this wind is actually more of a right to left full value than it is a quarter. It is now for yeah. sure. I think when we started, it wasn't nearly this It was bad. more this way. No. So I shot a couple rounds and I was hitting the same spot. So I just adjusted. This is exactly what the reticle looks like that I'm, I'm using today. Uh, it has no stadio lines that are up and down. So none of your elevation, it only has windage adjustments. And each one of the stadio lines of little one is a minute and a big one's two minutes. So a half of a little one is going to be a half a minute. And then a half of a big one is gonna be an entire minute adjustment. We're talking, but you can also use those stadio lines if you wanted to, to measure targets for certain. This rifle is good for or deer. It's not good for um, you need you need stadium you need lines you you need lines within your scope. Uh, I'd rather have like half minute quarters and up to a minute. I don't want to have two minutes is okay, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I'm having this conversation right now. It's kind of strange. Let's try 500. And I'm only showing you guys really this because a lot of you guys probably have this. But if we ever do set up that class, which we're going to be starting that here very soon to set up for it, you guys can bring your stuff and I can do this for you or show you how to do it correctly. I'm gonna go to that. That might be a tad high, but low and to the left. How low? Not much. Not much low. No. Okay, left makes sense. This one should work, maybe. Okay. I think you're a tad high on that one. A tad high, huh? <laughs> Oh, again, buddy. Dude, this rifle f sucks. Some just all over the place. It's probably, you think it's the bag, though, honestly? Uh, I don't think so. I don't like know. Just not, a, not a stable f***ing bottom? Uh, no, I feel pretty pretty good. Yeah. Left. You think it's the wind? Nope. The wind down right? Not at all. I think it's the rifle. I can feel it in the trigger. Like, the trigger is horrendous. Like, the rifles, it's just, uh, you get what you pay for. All right, let's hit it this time. Got it. You still hit it low, but you got it. All right. So, oh, okay. So we were at 11. So we were actually shooting eight, eight, eight inches low out the gate. Cause I had so much I had to come up. I came up eight inches. It was damn close. Yeah, eight inches. This also could be a three minute gun for all I know. You know, I should have looked that up. This could be, they're probably gonna say this is a one minute gun. I'm probably gonna say it's probably a two minute. So if it's a two minute gun, this thing's gonna hold a 10 inch shot group at 500 yards. So right. I mean, you're talking a 10 inch shot group, no matter how good of a shooter you are, a two minute gun, you're looking at a 10 inch shot group. This thing is only going to hold a shot group this big. At 800, it's gonna hold 16. So you're looking at a shot group this big. When you're looking at that gun over there, that is a half, half a minute gun. So you're looking at five, would it hold a two and a half inch shock? So you're going from like two and a half to like this. And those targets are head targets, right? So they're- the, uh, That one is actually a 16 full. inch wide uh, by 24 tall or whatever it is. Silhouette or whatever. That's a normal silhouette. So yeah. next is 600. We're good. Um, I'm probably gonna come up a little bit more than what it tells me to. And there's a few things I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I've, I've really noticed this thing doesn't like to reload rounds like at all very well, uh, especially with the magazine and it doesn't reload with the crap. So we're gonna go to that's 12, that's 13, that's 14, well, oh, 15. So we're on, let's remember this, we're already on one full revolution of this thing right now. That's another thing with this scope is when you do one full revolution, you actually don't know because it doesn't have, there's lines on other scopes like say, well, that one doesn't have it either, but my other, my other one on my 300 Win Mag, it'll have different revolutionary lines. So you could start at the zero line and then literally when you make a full revolution, then you're on one, and then it'll literally say it so you know where you're at. Right now, I don't know if I'm one full revolution or if I'm six. See what I mean? But now I know I'm one, so we're at 15 and I'm hot. I mean, yeah, you are. Sweating my Dude, when, off. when you got up, there was a pool. There's a pool of water right of here. Water around your crotchal region. Okay, 600 yards with a $350 deer rifle that probably shoots two minute shot groups. That one was low. 
That one was low for sure? Yeah, it was pretty low to hit about the base of the pole. Didn't see that one. It's like handing me a hammer telling me to go and put a screw in the wall. Yeah. Yeah? Where are we at? 500? 600? Well, this would be a hell of an accomplishment. Did you hit that? Two minutes. Two minutes. You... Two minutes. <laughs> I think. It smoked it. I think you hit it. I know I did hit it. I heard it. <laughs> you okay. See? Let's go, baby. Two minutes that was hold off makes no sense why i'd be shooting far right i got a right to left wind i shouldn't be shooting like that sorry i got so flustered there makes no sense so a lot of the, I, I remember during deer season people were like rob why you need that nice of a rifle to shoot a shoot a deer well mother let me tell you right now there's a reason why it took me six or seven shots to hit 600 and it's going to take me one round with that one that just cost me 14 dollars in ammo or i could have shot two dollars in ammo it adds up all right how far were you off to one side on that? Oh, how far was I off? So you're like, you're about a foot right, which you were yeah. on. So you said, he said a foot right. I held two minutes left. So I had two minutes left edge. So I'm actually, actually somewhere roughly, it was two minutes, yeah, two minutes left edge. So we're talking two minutes at six is 12 inches. That's an entire foot right. I was hitting a foot long sub right each time. So I did hold off. Okay. Nice. Teamwork, baby. Teamwork. There I'll we take, go. I'll take some credit. <laughs> yeah, take some credit <laughs> no, on that. Please no, take some credit I'm, on that I'm, one. I'm talking shit, man. No, I want you to take credit because <laughs> I, I can't see through a 14. I mean, I'm on 14 times. The damn target looks like it's this, like, literally this big on this. It's tiny. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go to 700. Woo! Do I have 700 out there? It was a 735-ish. It was 735-ish, right? Might and have been then, 725 almost, I think. Uh, oh, boy. I've, I've actually not shot that much. I've shot 24 rounds so far to go up to 600. That's not bad. No. For that rifle, that ain't bad. With and it's wind. not my rifle, and I have no dope on it. Yeah. So this just proves that if we did hold the sniper thing out here, I promise you we can get your dialed out to a grand, no issues. But holy shit, that's frustrating. Because the thing is, I knew my, my, my point of aim and my point of impact was almost exact. I had to be identical the same. I got to go back there and I got to start peeling up that, that green because you can't see the, the round disappears. Yeah. There's no splash. Yep. Okay, 700 and something's next. Okay, so this one, we're gonna skip seven, we're gonna straight to eight. Now we're talking, there's a there's a very large difference between six and eight. We're talking two football field difference. It normally wouldn't bother me with a with a good rifle. This one, this one's like mediocre at best. I'd rather, sometimes I'd probably rather take a fucking slingshot than this thing right now. But we're good, let's do this. A little low and left. Same spot. That was center, but really low. That one was hard to see. It looks like just barely low and left again. Rather, that one was three three feet left. Okay, three feet left. That makes no sense. How do I go farther left when I'm holding farther right? Oh my God. Oh, you oh my it. God. You saw that one. How in the f is that possible? I'm holding a minute and a half right and that thing hit like a foot and a half left how is that even possible oh my god i'm gonna adjust off that shot and watch it gonna hit right now oh my god it's still left how is that possible how is that possible got it got it <laughs> dude how far were you off four four minutes <laughs> oh my. four you're, minutes you're basically holding the rifle directly four, east of the target four fucking minutes four minutes at eight that is 32 inches okay. that's 32 fucking inches right there 32 inches that is how that's almost three foot mm -hmm. so I'm at, okay, so I want you guys here we go. This is what it was. So here's the image of the reticle now count you take center mass of that reticle and you count one, two, three, four. That was center mass of the target to get it to hit. So wow. let that sink in. All That's... right, 800, knocked it out. 925, you don't want to do it? I'm going <laughs> to do it, let's do this. Dude, let's do it, we're getting dialed now. No. We just, <laughs> oh, yeah. just find the target and go I'm gonna hold way. this way. Yeah, so exactly. on this next one, I'm gonna hold five minutes out the gate. I'm gonna hold, yeah, I'm gonna hold go. almost 40 inches right. There you go. 
Well, yeah, you'd be hitting all around them. I'd be scaring the, I'd be scaring the bejesus out of them. All right, so we were sitting at nine would be 24. Um, so we got to go 13. Oh my God, so there's 13. <laughs> we're almost two entire, we've almost made 30 minutes of adjustments. Just now we're at 925. 925 with a Walmart rifle. 925 with the Walmart rifle. All right, we're gonna go straight out the gate, five minutes right. Cam is drinking some water. All right, there's that some. She is out there, huh? Are right, you boys ready? Yep. We're good. Five minutes right. Low and left, baby. I am not low and left. Yes, you are. The same exact place we've been hitting. How low am I and how left am I? I mean, like literally the same, dude. Like uh, the bottom left corner of the target, three inches off of it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are we, we're playing this game again? All right. Okay, now we are off to the right by a good deal, by like 12 inches. Dude, you missed it Mom. by an inch. Saw it. Dude, I didn't see that at all. That was low to the right. Barely. Three inches. Sorry, buddy. I wish I could help more. Yeah, I about to say you hit it. <laughs> Dude, I saw the hole go in it, bro. <laughs> <sighs> but, but I didn't see any dirt. I was like, you had to hit it. <laughs> hey, there we go. All right, there you go. 925 yards with a Walmart rifle. Move my legs. It's hot out here. So I'm gonna show you guys something real quick who are new to the channel on what, on how that rifle performs from three to 925. Let's go ahead and roll that one. Dude, that was the coolest hit ever because yeah, I couldn't see it. I thought I was pissed because I couldn't see it again. But then a little like ding appeared in the target. And then I heard the sound. I was like, thank God, because I couldn't see it. I mean, so I don't, I don't recommend a lot of you guys to go Carl's Hathcock on, on, the, on that deer. Probably wouldn't shoot a deer past 200 with this thing. I'd probably say 200 is probably it. 300, I hit first shot. But I think I trust myself a little bit more than most at 300 with that thing. I, I'd probably say the average human's probably 200 or less with this rifle. Okay, what do you want to do? Did you want to try? Do you want to try? <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a try. It's four minutes right. You're going to have to hold four right. minutes right. It's dialed. The elevation's fine now. Okay. I'll give it a shot. It's four minutes right. What do I got to lose? Your dignity and respect. No. Well, then I better, better hit it the first shot then. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's dialed in. Oh. Let me just look through it for a second. Because I haven't even looked at this damn thing. Plus, I'm a larger human than Mr. Robert. Oh. Try to touch out the 925 with this rifle. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I got it. Two targets. Yeah, one small one. Yep. Shoot the one on the right. I don't know if you got a bullet in it or not. I don't. I was just I was just looking through the scope to see what it looked like. Anything? Nope. That'd be awesome. What number is this? Tell Nine. me one more time. Nine. This is my last shot. And it's two targets that are right next to each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was definitely just shooting at two targets. One of them was hanging. Yeah, there's seven, eight. Yeah, it's this one right here. It's gotta be. All right, last shot, boys. Well, that was fun. Almost forgot to do something like super important. Toby would have been confused as shit. Toby would have went out. Oh, the scope. Yeah, he would have. Settings of the scope. He would have went out. So I, this is how much, how much we had dialed. That's now zero. Toby would have went out. <laughs> he was like, where is the rounds going? <laughs> now we're good. Now we'll go ahead and switch back over to before the outro. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I hope you guys did enjoy this video over here on Lunkers TV. Like I said, go check out Lojo. He'll be linked in the top of the description. If you guys want to know some more military stories, more crazy shit, like I said, my book's also on the top. Get a chance to come out here and shoot with me. Bring your, well, you won't be able to bring your rifle that time. You'll have to use mine, but we're proven we can do it. We can reach, we can touch. 
it's not fun. Well, actually, it's it's interesting, but it's not fun. I don't. I didn't. I'm not gonna say I enjoyed wasting uh, two boxes of ammo. I went through 40 rounds to hit three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's a lot of rounds. That's a lot of rounds. Mainly, it was eight and nine that were giving us the biggest. Um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go ahead and roll that sweet sucky the motherfucking outro. Catch you guys later.